Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be going over with you guys all of my channel updates and what is to come for 2022 on my channel, what we're going to be doing, what I'm going to be changing, all of the business side of my channel. I'm just excited because I have decided to make quite a bit of changes to my channel in such a good way that really just drives me or feeds me and motivates me. Um, and I just want to share it with you guys because I think that you guys will get excited too and hopefully still love my channel and still want to be a part of it. I have my handy dandy um, journal. This is my YouTube journal. I have one every year. This is the one for 2022. I take my notes. I do my things. If you guys don't know, obviously I am a beauty channel. It's what it's been. Um, my channel was never created for makeup tutorials. Like I am not a tutorial channel, although I do makeup looks. Obviously, if you've been here, you know. I am not a makeup tutorial channel. I know that a lot of people kind of message me and they're like, you know, you're not really doing a lot of tutorials. Can you do this tutorial? I do looks and reviews on makeup but I've never never when I created this was it to be a makeup tutorial channel so when I do those tutorials I kind of feel just like eh, if you will just because like it's not something I'm truly like motivated to do uh because it's never been something I wanted to do so like wholeheartedly like my heart's just not it's not in it the way it is when I do like these videos or my haul videos or chatty videos or just a makeup look like I don't mind doing makeup looks I love makeup however when it comes to tutorials and tips and stuff like that I am all here for giving you guys tips but I am not a makeup artist <laughs> I am not certified to be a makeup artist I've not taken classes to be a makeup artist I know that in some states you have to be licensed and in some you don't in my state you don't but I'm still not a makeup artist like at the end of the day I'm not so I don't feel as though I'm in the right place to share like do this for your face I can always tell you you know what works for me and what might work for you but I've just never been a tutorial channel for that reason because I feel as though it kind of takes away from makeup artists themselves if that makes sense you know I think us makeup enthusiasts and all the fun stuff we do with makeup we we tend to forget that we are not makeup artists and it takes away from what they actually do so when someone goes I'm a makeup artist they go oh yeah there's tons of them on YouTube but they're actually makeup artists who have went to school gotten the education and do that for a living so I just want to make that clear as to why I don't do a lot of tutorials and I probably will never do a lot of tutorials just because that's not the vibe for my channel because I had quite a few messages about tutorials recently which is very odd because I haven't before so I plan on making changes as to what my channel is so I say it's a beauty channel but the more I kind of go through my stuff and the more that I went through my videos and what I do um I think that I'm more beauty and lifestyle without knowing that I was beauty and lifestyle to be fair up until about a year ago I didn't even know what lifestyle meant like <laughs> I didn't know what it is and I still probably don't to be honest but I definitely do a lot more chatty videos tips you know favorites hauls that kind of stuff versus like tutorials if that makes sense so I'm kind of like a mix in between and I'm happy with that that's what makes me happy and I just want to lean more into both so putting beauty and lifestyle together um I know that a lot of people might be like well you know I just want to see makeup and I, that's really awesome and I will still continue to have my beauty videos but I will be also adding in some lifestyle stuff just because I feel as though if I don't create content that I enjoy you guys are gonna know and I always want to be transparent and honest with you guys and I can't be honest with you if I'm not honest with myself if I dislike something that I'm creating I cannot force myself to like it and therefore you guys are gonna realize in those videos like okay this is kind of lame it's kind of boring you can tell she's not into it so I just don't want you guys to ever feel like I'm being fake or not transparent and this is just where my heart has led me in my journey on YouTube to do more lifestyle and video content so that is a major change that is coming I'm going to be adding in a lot of different videos lifestyle videos clean with me videos makeup videos reviews hauls all of that stuff from beauty will still be here it'll still be here but I'm also gonna just start to really add in different stuff that I'm excited about. I will probably never be like super trendy, okay, if I'm being honest with you guys, because I don't do videos because they're trendy. I don't do, 
I don't follow that stuff. Sometimes if I see like a makeup challenge, I find that it's, you know, funny and I might want to do it. But when it comes down to it, like the hundred layers of highlighter, I'm not doing that because I don't find that to be something I'm interested in. Do I watch those? Of course I do. But I am not interested in creating that content. My channel will always be like a warm welcome in place and not like this humongous following community because I'm not ever going to bend into trends unless it's something I really like. So that being the case, my channel will probably always be a tight knit, small loving community and I'm totally okay with that. And that's why I feel so comfortable to be able to tell you guys like, hey, I'm making some changes. Are we cool with it? And you guys are usually like, fuck yes, Jamie, you're awesome. So I love you guys for that always. So some of the beauty and lifestyles that I have here is like makeup looks, hauls, chats, like chatty videos like these where I just kind of talk to you and chill on my floor and have a good time. Favorites, anti-hauls, reviews, regular day stuff during vlogs. I'm going to start adding like my family into my videos, like husband does my whatever because I used to do those so much and you guys really enjoyed them. And then I just kind of stopped because I just felt like, oh my gosh, no, this is this is popular, so I should be doing this. This is prep, and I'm just like, I'm not doing that anymore. <laughs> I'm not doing that anymore. I just can't push myself to do popular things because they're popular when it's not something my heart is into. I'm going to be adding more shorts. I don't know if you've seen that lately. Basically, I'm going to be adding at least two to three shorts a week solely focusing on my beauty collection that is largely sitting behind me because I love beauty products. Okay, we love. We love a good makeup look, but I love sharing with you guys all of the tea and all of the things and all of my collection. So I just want to really start creating shorts with those so the videos don't really become super long, super crazy. So like one day I might go, hey, top favorite drugstore, whatever, in a 60 second video. Um, five worst products I've ever bought this month in a 60 second video. So I do want to let you guys know that I am going to be doing two to three shorts a week. So... I started it, I want to say about two weeks ago, and I've actually gotten some pretty good feedback on it. So hopefully, hopefully it's good. I will still be doing my blooper videos. As you guys know, it is something that I do. I try to do weekly, but usually I can't. So it'll be a monthly thing. I'm going to try to get maybe one to two videos, blooper videos up a month because that's just something like, I know I don't get a lot of views on it, believe it or not. I really don't. But in my heart, they're my best videos. I absolutely love them because they make me laugh and they make some of you guys laugh. And if I can make one person laugh, then I don't freaking care. And I make myself laugh and that's one person, so check. But no, I just really enjoy making them and it's, it's a good time, it is. If you haven't seen my blooper videos, I'll put the playlist here. It's, it's a good time, check it out. So another thing, I mean, I guess I've, I feel like this isn't really a channel update because I've always been this way, but I just want to be like a laid back channel. Do you know what I mean? So I guess when I say that, I don't know how to explain in my head what I'm thinking, but basically I don't want to be this uptight beauty guru who makes you guys think that you have to have it all together. You have to look one way. You have to wear th these nice clothes. You, you have to have your makeup done perfectly. It needs to look smooth. It needs to look airbrushed. I don't, I don't want that because when I made my channel, I solely made it in 2018. I solely made it because I wanted the opposite of that. I wanted the normal everyday person who loves beauty to come to my channel and be like, oh my God, she's fucking normal. I mean, come on, normal, really? <laughs> Let's be light with that term, but you know what I mean. I, I'm just not a very like, excuse me, excuse me, yes, yes, I'm a beauty guru. That's right. And I'm not, not being shitty to other beauty gurus. I love a lot of them, but let's be honest, some of them have the tendency to be very, st I don't want to say stuck up, but like stiff, you know, like, hmm, I don't want to do that. I'm not perfect. I cuss a lot. I'm kind of a spaz and I'm not, I don't have it all together and I'm kind of heavy and <laughs> I wear t-shirts and sweaters and sometimes I brush my hair sometimes so it just like I feel like I'm a normal normal again relative term person that you guys can kind of relate to and that's kind of my thing and that's I felt like I was trying I was getting away from that like trying to be like this like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm not that that's not me I don't 
I don't know. I'm just not comfortable being that person. That's not who I am. And with that laid back vibe, basically, like what I love to grow this community, like, ooh, but I'm not focused on that. Like, would I love for this to be like an, you know, my business. I wake up and I film and I edit and I do all that. Yes, but I think that I'm going to kind of like, what's the word? Um, kind of like lay back with that. Like if it grows, it grows. If it happens, it happens. If the universe wants it to happen, it will happen. And I'm not going to stress myself out because I think a lot of the times when we start YouTube, we start it for fun. And then we're like, oh yeah, this could really be a business. Cause I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I do get paid money from YouTube. It is not a lot of money, but I do get paid. And I think that really goes, oh my God, I can make so much money if I do this. And then you get into the mindset of like, it's a business and now all the fun is out of it. So I wanna go back to like, just like, if it grows, it grows. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And we just have fun. I love having fun. That's what I'm here for. So my uploads will be the same Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 5 p.m. Eastern time. I have been doing, I don't know if you guys have caught on, if you're subscribed, if you're not subscribed, you should, you should, right down there. But if you are subscribed, you've probably noticed like I've been kind of teetering on different times. It's not that I'm being inconsistent. Um, I mean, it is inconsistency, but that's not my purpose. My purpose is I'm trying to see what the best time is to get you guys my videos because I know that sometimes YouTube does not notify you even if you have the bell selected um so I've just been trying to see like when the best time is for everybody I guess the main focus of people I've been looking at my analytics and all of that boring shit but I'm trying to just see what is best not only for you guys but also for me and my day and you know is five o'clock a good time because five o'clock winds up being like the end of the day and everyone's getting home and you know dinner is getting done it just winds up being crazy so I've been testing the waters but I think I am gonna stay at five o'clock Monday Wednesday and Friday and then obviously my shorts my shorts will be staggered throughout the week two to three times a week and i don't know if you guys are aware but i do post on my community tab almost every day okay well i try to i try to um so i'll put a screenshot up here of where you can find it it's across where it says like videos playlist and then community tab you just click on there and it's basically just like somewhere i can post stuff and text and type where it's not a video or it's not like a full-blown setup it's just like me just like talking to you guys because I can't really DM you. So if you ever have like questions or something, comment on one of my posts there and then I can reach out to you that way because sometimes comments, I don't know, YouTube is so weird because I'll have a comment, it'll say I have a comment from somebody and then I'll go to that comment and it's gone. It's not under review, it's just gone. Like they did that to this one person who's been following me for a very long time. I believe her name is Esther. And literally I could see every time she commented, but I don't know if YouTube just removed it or what happened because I would go to click on it to reply, nothing. So just, you can always reach out to me there or obviously Instagram, TikTok, whatever. All of my social handles are always down in the description box. So I will be adding, like I said, vlogs to my channel. I don't really know how I'm gonna do that because let me, let me be honest with you. Um, one, I don't know how to do a vlog. <laughs> Two, uh, I'm fucking boring. Like I don't do much in my day but it's always been something I wanted to kind of just like test the waters with, but I'm just like, I don't know what I'm doing. So eventually those will be up once I get the hang of like maybe vlogging and doing whatever. Um, and then again, like I said, I want to start adding my family back into my stuff where like my daughter was here. I'm going to do some try on hauls and hauls, 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 hauls. Y'all know I love shopping. I might start to do a shop with me where I take you with me shopping, but here's the thing. A lot of stores don't like you to record. And also it's just like, I don't know if I'm comfortable. Like my anxiety, man, like just has me like, oh my God, oh my God. Are people looking at me? Like, you know what I mean? When you just have like the camera and you're just like, mm, please don't look at me. And then you have like those people who are like, uh, they're just recording. Oh, so annoying. Like, you know what I mean? You have those people and then it makes me feel like, mm. so I haven't gotten the courage to just not care and to like film while I'm shopping. So just in time baby steps that will happen hopefully oh and i'm also gonna be adding reaction videos um i know random right those are gonna be 
based off of beauty so like reacting to my old videos reacting to like big youtubers first videos like there's gonna be so many it's gonna be beauty related but it's gonna be like funny because I just like my you guys don't understand like I'm a funny person okay <laughs> I may not come off as a funny person I may come off as like a square but like I'm fucking funny so I just want you guys to see that and like basically get to know me for who I truly am I'm not the stuck up beauty youtuber that <laughs> maybe at one point I came across as like I'm just not like I'm just not who I am at all <laughs> so with all that being said I don't want you guys to think like oh my god she's changing every I'm not changing everything I'm honestly just adding a few more of stuff that I was already doing and kind of laying back or laying off of tutorials and stuff I do love doing makeup looks and I will always do those for you guys it's just not going to be what my sole focus is on my channel um, makeup reviews I love doing like first impressions stuff like that um, so I'll still be doing all of that this is still a beauty channel it's just adding a little bit more life into it a little bit more fun a little mix up if you will because beauty is great and it's still growing like I know a lot of people think that the beauty community is dead but I really just don't think that that's true I think that a lot of the bigger youtubers who created this community um are rolling out and I think that rightfully so because I mean they've gotten to their peak of success on YouTube where now they're you know running their own businesses and doing other stuff so I just don't think that that is the case I think that unfortunately those older youtubers and I'm gonna say this lately and as politely as possible created a lot of drama behind beauty so when people hear beauty community they oh the drama it's really not because I watch and I follow a lot of small creators on here um and up and coming content creators on the beauty area and they're not like that because the problem is I think that a lot of us started channels because we got so tired of the sole focus of beauty to be around these drama situations or scandals whatever if you will but um, I've just gotten to the point that I we can't we got to stop blaming the community. It's not the community. It's certain people. So it's not that I am like steering away. The beauty community isn't dead. I believe that it's alive and well. And there are a lot of up and coming creators that I think are going to blow up and do amazing and create this beautiful community that it should have been a long time ago. So I just think that a lot has changed in people. And because it's fresh and new and there are newer people, I just just think that people are not interested in the drama I mean there will always be people interested in the drama but I think that the new beauty creators are so focused on not having the drama in here that it's really gonna fix it and it's just gonna be such a like more lightweight and like just nice space to be in so I just want to make the changes to my channel because I want to be happy with what I'm doing I don't want to feel like I'm being forced to do content or topics that I'm just really my heart isn't into it because because then I can't give you guys the 100% of Jamie that you guys deserve. So that's why I'm kind of making changes. If I forgot any of the changes I'm making, I will comment them down below in the comment section. But as always, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for listening and just sitting here with me and having a good time and letting me update you guys on where my journey on YouTube is going in 2022. And hopefully we just soar and we have a lot of fun and it's just good vibes. But as always guys, I love you so much and I will see you on the next one. Bye.